doing wonderful things in the Bundesliga, as we'd expected. Almost. We have a cup game against Leipzig. Welcome back. Second episode. We've played a further five league games from what you uh, last saw, so we'll run over those very shortly. We have Leipzig, who are currently second in the league, in our second round of the cup, which I'm not holding out a lot of hope for. And then the second fixture will be against Union Berlin, which I've got a little bit more hope for. I've had to offer a lot of contracts, which is why you can probably see about seven here that are all become an established team in the Bundesliga, and I've got between two and three years to do so. I should hope that'll be the case, hopefully by the end of the season. I don't know if you can establish yourself in one year, probably not. We have, as I say, played a bunch of games. We've got a few fixtures up here that you can already see. But before we jump into it all in its uh, entirety, if you could do me the favour of liking, subscribing, show your support, it'll be beautiful. And as I've mentioned before, if you're a fan of F1, we've got some uh, F1 manager stuff as well on the channel. Uh, there'll be one of those out probably tomorrow. So make sure you go over and watch that. Concerningly, for our cup game, the first game we played after the last episode was against Leipzig. And they beat us 4-0. So, we're not looking for a repeat of that. We did, however, follow it up with a 3-1 win at home to Wolfsburg. So, pretty happy there. Three points. Then playing Gladbach away from home, Matthias Arezzo. If you know me, you know I love the kid. So, I wasn't even that annoyed that he scored two past us and basically cost us the game. But, stats-wise, we weren't 100 miles off. We then hosted Mines again, pretty similar game where it comes through with the stats, and it did finish 0-0, which, to be fair, is a fair result. We then went away to Köln, two goals just before half-time, saw us uh, take the lead, and then, unfortunately, an early goal for them, and a very late goal for them in the second half, saw the game finish 2-2. So, for the game, we're going with Ajeda in goal, Dwa, Georgi, Parsons as our back three, Charis and Velison outside of Jonsian, we then have Sturzic and Kuhn in the middle, now playing as a Mazala, hopefully to cover this sort of area. Uh, Aquino we've moved out to left wing, because we know he does much better out there. He's only got five returns, goals or assists from ten, whereas last season he was on plus one per game, so hopefully we'll get a little bit more out of him. And Karadamir we've left out on the right side uh, as an advanced forward, so hopefully it'll kind of act like a, a mixture between the two formations we have been playing. Dua with a free kick, deep on the right. Short to the uh, roaming playmaker. Well, listen, makes use of Aquino just in front of him. No, he doesn't, because on his own. Puts it into Karadamea. <laughs> what a goal. <laughs> What's that? I mean, I'll take it. It's 1-0. I mean, at this point, I was just expecting an attack to slowly build up and then fizzle out. But well, listen, went, have a bit of that. Karadamea lost his man and just pokes it into the bottom corner. I mean, we threw to half time. If we look at the stats... We are good for our 1-0. I don't know exactly why this is happening, but I'm not going to question it. We move on. We score a second. Karadamir with a free kick. Oh, and he made it towards that top corner, but Van der Voort was equal to it. We are going to get a corner now. Who, who is this tiny person then? Oh, it's the one. Oh, it's Stozic. I didn't realise he was quite so short. In towards Dwa. Brings the ball down. Back out to the corner taker. Jonsian on the edge. Velison. All the way out to Stozic again. And, and highlight finishes. It's helpful. Gentil. Short to Zakarian. Out to Garcia. If we could get that ball back off them, that'd be beautiful. They are uh, still on possession. Zatele. All the way back to his goalkeeper. Van der Voort into Zakarian. Out to uh, their left winger. Nice play into the area. Ah, oh, that's it's just a well worked goal, isn't it? That's upsetting. So I've got my two subs. We've brought in. Alcatani and Maure, we reverted back to the two up top because Aquino's are basically only good left winger. Um, hoping that we can carry on what we've been doing. It's unfortunate they've managed to equalise because we still definitely deserve more out of the game than they do. Maure with the corner towards the near post. Dua. Oh, and it's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Back out to the corner taker. Jonsian, Maure again. Oh, and he's hit the woodwork. Alcatani is going to pick it up on the left, back in, and it's collected by the goalkeeper. Malray with the ball towards the left side, puts it back to Wellison, into Malray again. I have just made a slight tweak to the instructions, pushing the uh, defensive line slightly further back. So I'm thinking it may have been a highlight for that. 
Decent shot, though. Corner out on the left, who's going to be taken by Malray. Way over now. Short to Janssen, and it just, just ends. Into extra time. Full time sees us in a position where we should realistically be winning this game. And we just not. So that's annoying. We have 2.5 XG to their 0.3, and it's a 1 1. So there should be two goals scored, but both for us. A free kick out on the left for Stuttgart. Garcia puts it in towards the middle, and it looked like my own player headed that in, but Okan Under has uh, snuck over the defenders, headed it in. It's not idea between Georgie and, and Dua, but I think it was Georgie that was the one that uh, challenged it. To be fair, it was both of them. I hope that that Okan is actually an absolute unit, because I'm going to be quite upset if he's short. Um, he's six foot four, to be fair, at nine, 19 jumping reach. That'll be why he outjumped everyone, because he's an absolute beast. Into the last 10 minutes now, the ball again is with Leipzig. I'm not particularly unhappy with this game. We should have the win, realistically. Oh my god. We should have the win, realistically. But we just haven't. We've been beaten by a team. <laughs> I was going to say a team better than us. They are a team better than us, but not better than us on the day, which is the annoyance. I'm happy that we've played well against a good team. So we can just take that into the league, focus on the league now, which was obviously the priority. And make sure we stay up. I don't think that'll be too much of an issue a disappointing loss but a loss nonetheless let's go and move towards union berlin we return hopefully with a less disappointing game at home against union berlin we have picked up a few little knocks unfortunately in the time between but we have uh, a shader in goal uh, georgie georgie and parsons as our back three Charis and Velison outside of Jonsian. I am tempted to shuffle this as such. Uh, Stursic and Kuhn in the midfield with Aquino and Karadimir up top. So we had Quadwo Dwa has picked up an injury, which it doesn't show me on that screen. Uh, a damaged heel, four to ten days. And also Mbai Senga has blisters and he's going to be out for three to nine days. So not vast injuries. But they're just enough. To... Ajeda with a goal kick. Short to Jankovic and into Stosic. I've kept them both as centre mids. Uh, but the guy on the left is now support. Whereas the guy on the right is attack. So similar to what we were hoping for in the first game. But I found that the centre mid on attack was considerably more attacking than the Mazala. Which wasn't ideal. So hopefully that will stagger them a little bit better. Aquino scored for us already while I was trying to explain that, which is kind of what we wanted to see from our winger. He's more of an interception of a poor pass, but uh, he gets himself into the area and gets the ball in the net. A ball lump forward from the uh, Berlin goalkeeper. Biancovic has it in the middle for us. Karadimir, Kun, back into Karadimir. Oh, and he just belts it wide. He did have Aquino next to him as well that he could have just slotted it across to. Charis and Ayeda batters it away. Karadimir nods it over to Aquino on that left side. He's got quite a bit of space to run into. Gets it in towards Stosic, who, as we know from the last game, is about two foot tall. So he's not going to win anything in the air. Freitas out to Chahid. And back into Lubak. If we could get that ball off him, that would be preferable. Silha Sh Shihara was the name. Martson into the area. Oh, Jesus, and the header's just wide. I thought we had that header covered. Chahid. And Erivaldo have the ball on the right. Lubak all the way back to his uh, defender. And Ortigoza puts it forward again. They are looking pretty comfortable in possession at the moment. I know it's only in their third. So hopefully it doesn't progress any further up the pitch. But I'd like us to get that ball back off them. If we uh, if we fancied it. But uh, Vandenberg puts it through to his fellow player. And he batters it out to the wing. It wasn't him that put the ball forward. I thought it was to start with. Uh, Lubac. Into the area, Shihara, out to Chahid, on the right, Erivaldo, he's going to put in a good ball, oh my god, he's put it over as well, these guys are having an absolute mare in the air, free kick, quite deep on the right for us, towards Parsons, and he's rattled off the crossbar, and then for some reason, Stozic just kicked it towards his player, rather than holding possession, he has no one near him, 
Erivaldo and Georgie picks up that loose ball. Cracking one. Turns out it's not Seth Vandenberg. It's Rav Vandenberg. I can only assume his brother. Didn't know he had one. Throwing. Shahid, short to Mil Milovanovic. Erivaldo and back out to Shahid. We can get that ball back off him. Uh, it's all right. Ojeda's just gone and collected it. I know he's um, calamity, should we call it, for want of a better word, in the last game. Basically sealed the uh, sealed the tie. He was already 2-1 at that point, and we didn't look like we were going to score again. I have offered him a new contract, mostly because PSG are now involved, as well as Chelsea, and he's valued at less than 2 million. So if I can offer him a new contract, it's pretty much trebling his wage, almost. Hopefully that will... Um, knock up his value but for some reason our goalkeepers are literally just worth nothing in this team it's incredibly annoying uh, Aquino gets himself in the area again back to Wellison he does look a little bit more kind of involved now which is good um, all the way back to Parsons he's found himself in some space Georgie we don't need to push too much fellas Stursic Kun straight through Aquino oh oh Cara de Mia's batted it over now and there we have it our 1-0 sees us still in the European positions, which is odd. I'm not expecting us to be there, even close to there, when it comes to the end of the season, especially looking at the likes of Dortmund in mid-table. But, as I say, the most points we can pick up, the better. We're currently working on a point and a half per game, which is wonderful. That mid-table. Carry that on, please. After another decent performance, we are considering to come back for Dortmund and Leverkusen. I'm not sure whether I will, though, because they are the final two games of the season. Just right behind me head. So, I'll either probably come back for Dusseldorf and kind of deadline day, but just an update on what happened. Maybe Bremen, or I might even come back, but that would involve playing Leipzig again, and no one needs to see that because they're good and they'll beat me and I'll cry. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, do me a favour, like, subscribe, show support on the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. We have um, some items here in front of me where you can carry on watching. And yes, thank you very much for your time.